Greetings and salutations. My name is David Rodwin, and this is some epic bullshit. So I just got back from seeing The Hunger Games, and I am furious, furious, because midway through the film, something happened that made it so I couldn't concentrate on anything else, and it was this music. Now in the credits before the film begins, it says music by James Newton Howard. And I'm here to tell you that music you just heard is not by James Newton Howard. Now I think James Newton Howard is an excellent composer. So my beef is not with James Newton Howard. Now it's not uncommon for a film to have lots of songs in it that weren't composed by the composer of the film. It's less common, however, to have orchestral music in the score that was not composed by the credited composer. Now there are exceptions to this rule, especially when it comes to classical music. The most famous example of this is the film of 2001 A Space Odyssey, where Stanley Kubrick decided to take a piece from Strauss, and its inclusion in the film helped make it the best known piece of classical music ever. There are other instances of this as well. One of the most overused pieces of music, especially in previews, is a piece by Samuel Barber called Adagio for Strings. Something that happened last year that makes what happened in The Hunger Games seriously infuriating for me. The film called The Artist won the Oscar for Best Score. And this is when it used an orchestral cue over and over again that the composer credited on the film did not compose. That cue was written by Bernard Herrmann, one of the most famous Hollywood composers ever. He composed the scores for almost every Hitchcock movie, for Psycho and Rear Window and North by Northwest, and... The artist uses the music from Vertigo, this extraordinary love theme, over and over and over again in the most climactic, serious moments of the film. And yet, the artist won the Oscar for Best Musical Score! It... it made my head want to explode! I don't want to denigrate the rest of the score, that was fine. But I have a huge problem when you take credit for a score when the climactic moments were scored by a totally different composer. That's just wrong! And this has happened once again with The Hunger Games. Who's the composer? Steve Reich. That's Steve, R-E-I-C-H. Steve Reich's contribution to modern music cannot be exaggerated. I don't care if you've never heard of him, that doesn't mean that he isn't one of the most influential composers over the last 50 years. Steve Reich is a fucking god. He's not as famous as Philip Glass, but that doesn't make his music any less important. And people have told me that I shouldn't be mad, but I am. People have told me, hey, David, people are hearing Steve Reich's work who would never be introduced to it. That's a good thing. Hey, David, I bet Steve Reich got paid a lot of money. That's a good thing. And I agree, those are good things. However, in the past when music has been used like this in a very popular movie, that has actually risen the fame of that composer. Steve Reich is in his 70s. People don't know about him. People should know about him. This film should be getting an enormous audience familiar with the work of Steve Reich, but they don't know it because he isn't credited until the very, 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 very end of the credit scroll at the end of the film. What's more, the soundtrack doesn't feature his music, it instead has tracks by Taylor Swift. Did you hear a Taylor Swift song in that? No. I mean, this is fucking crazy. How is Steve Reich's music featured? It's that climactic moment where all the kids run for the weapon and it becomes an absolute bloodbath that goes on and on and it's in slow motion and there's blood everywhere and the music is pounding and there's no dialogue it's all about the music without that music that scene doesn't exist for over two minutes that was steve reich but because the theater had completely emptied out by the time steve reich's name came up on the credit scroll at the end of the film no one had any idea that that music was his, unless we start talking about it. So I'm not blaming whoever brought this music to the table, because clearly they have an extraordinary ear and a fantastic knowledge of contemporary music. I just want credit to go where credit is due. I want everyone to say, wow, what else has he written? I want to hear more. Music for 18 musicians, drumming, the opera The Cave, different trains, violin phase, and the extraordinary luminous desert music. So spread the word. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share with friends. And Steve, if you're watching, love your music 
I hope you got paid a f of a lot for it. My name's David Rodwin, and this was some epic bullshit.